so this is, this is my point, is that we need to put a frame around things. And this goes back 3,000 years. 3,000 years to the Chinese, they developed the concept of the five rings to problem solving and decision making. Peter Senge uh, then talked about it in the fifth discipline when he talked about systems thinking. And what we need to do is the, the, what the Chinese would do. Uh, by the way, have any of you been to China and gone to their temples where they go to pray and worship? Have you seen, if ever you've been there, you've seen it. They have, okay, so they're beautiful, aren't they? And outside of every temple, there are two columns with two lions facing sort of inwards. So as you're walking up to a temple, there is always two pillars with two lions sitting atop of these pillars, looking slightly inward at you as you come in to pray, worship, and seek wisdom. And that's the purpose of going to temple is to seek wisdom. Do you know the names of the two lions? Yes, which translates in English to doubt and confusion. You see, the Chinese realized 3,000 years ago that in order to seek and appreciate wisdom, you need to first pass through doubt and confusion. We don't necessarily always have to get the right answer, which comes back to my point earlier. We need to become comfortable with ambiguity. And so